today's mentally fast-paced yet physically sedentary life, everybody has a need to remind themselves that it's important to take care of one's physique. Hygiene and fitness are elemental in our pursuit of maintaining our body's overall health to its highest levels, but we struggle with setting up our routines and our discipline wavers from one day to the next. Throughout the past 15 centuries, the Islamic faith's foresight ritualized certain fundamental practices that led to the improved health of the human body. Unknowingly, and through the application of repetitious actions, Muslim believers vehemently practiced what today, wellness applications and new lifestyle systems are preaching to help people improve their physical well-being. In today's world, hygiene is paramount. Be it in our private or public domain, the concept of cleanliness is now part of the social contract we have with each other as a society. These demands are constantly on the change, as science discovers new diseases and their subsequent causes. But this is where the Islamic faith has been a leader in its wisdom, by instilling the concept of hygiene within a daily fundamental task that is conducted five times a day. Muslims are conditioned from the earliest ages to achieving a heightened state of hygiene. The wudu, or ablution process, is a mandatory ritual that all Muslims must perform prior to the commencement of their prayers. A single ablution process includes the thorough washing of all the exposed bodily areas that might have come into contact with germs. Imagine cleansing your body five times a day for the rest of your life. Following the cleansing of the body, the next element of Islam's strategy in helping maintain the body's health is the prayer itself. The Muslim prayer, Salat, is a fluid body weight workout where the body is stretched and exercised through repetitious cycles of movement and the bending of all the body's main joints every single day, with the first iteration coming from the moment you wake up to the last just before going to bed. Imagine having a 10-minute stretching session five times a day for the rest of your life. The second ritual that helps Muslims maintain their physical well-being is the month of Ramadan and its related intense fast. In Islam, fasting involves a dry fast from dawn to dusk. It is the precursor to the modern concept of intermittent fasting. Apart from all its social, spiritual, and emotional benefits, one of Ramadan's main principles is to allow for the healing of the body through fasting by limiting consumption to a minimal. Consequently, reducing appetite and cravings, improving energy levels, and decreasing the toxins within the body. Imagine having one month every year to recalibrate your body and detoxify your systems throughout your life. The third practice is that of the Hajj pilgrimage. Obviously, this ritual has evolved over the years as today the Hajj's physical demands have been reduced greatly due to the advancement of human transport. Nonetheless, the pilgrimage itself is still an arduous six-day experience. The Hajj requires the faithful to perform certain tasks and walks between the various stages of the pilgrimage. These walks can be between 5 kilometers per day as a minimum to 21 kilometers for a six-day total of approximately 70 kilometers. These demands are further compounded by the fact that this effort is conducted with limited outdoor sleep, harsh desert climate, concurrent fasting, and while incorporating other physical challenges during the same period. Imagine a week when you challenge your body and push it to its limits every year in your life. Many new theories and ideas have sprouted over the last century that recommend rediscovered rituals and practices that can help people improve their physical well-being. This knowledge is not new, but has been hidden from Western eyes for many centuries. Muslims, on the other hand, have been living with this wisdom for over 1.5 millennia and forms an integral part of their day-to-day -day life, a life that is fundamentally integrated with physical exercise and corporeal purity.